দুই থেকে তিন ঘন্টা চালিয়ে কৃষি যে মাছগুলো পেতো এখন বন্যা উঠে এখন এই বছরের মধ্যে অনেক ধান নষ্ট হয়ে গেছে তারপরে অনেক বাড়িঘর ডুবে গেছে দোকানদার নষ্ট হয়ে গেছে এই বাড়ি সবচেয়ে বেশি এই বাড়ি আছে মারাত্ম বেশি এটা কারণটা বাংলা শুরু করলে আস্তে আস্তে ভাঙে এদিকে আসে আমরা এরপরে পারি নিছিলাম যত ভাঙে তত এদিকে সরে আসি আস্তে আস্তে লাস্টে এই বন্ধু উঠেছে আর কি During the last decade, Bangladesh's stable economic growth has made rural production. Among all the population, the poor are the most vulnerable. These are also coming. So when there are uh, monsoon and more floods and more uh, water are coming, even from the upper catchment, then uh, the land is failing to drain it quickly and floods. And then the poor people are impacted. I have a shop sale. I have a shop sale. Sustainable, fair and resilient to climate change. For instance, to be financed, projects proposed by all ministries that benefit from the project, its impact on natural resources or the resistance of infrastructure to climate change. Besides, government officials that propose these projects are being trained to design sustainable interventions. Training topics vary from the value of mangroves to the economy to concrete examples of climate adaptation measures such as coastal reforestation. With We train them about the necessity of managing things rightly uh, as that can ensure greener economy, this, that can ensure if you can ensure greener economy that will give you a sustainable development path more projects will come up that have more aware to see change on the ground technical support is provided to improve 28 ongoing government projects in agriculture water transport and rural development that have been selected for the groundbreaking way they reverse environment. This was enough for the local government engineering department to launch a multi-million dollar project to improve the community's ability to manage natural resources. The project established safe breeding spaces for fish, such as cages and small protected areas, close to forest swamps. This was coupled with the construction of environmentally friendly roads resistant to natural hazards that would improve the access of communities to local markets, education and sanitation. Lastly, the project also helped communities to access credit to invest in agriculture. PEI provided technical support to make sure the project was resilient to climate change, green and fair. This included recommendations to improve the water management system, to introduce crop resilient to climate change, and to increase floating gardens and fish cage culture. Abdul Mazid is one of the community members that runs the project. Today, fish stocks have drastically increased and like Abdul Mazid's family, the livelihood of another 100,000 households has been improved. Development must be sustainable to have uh, equal impacts on all, to have inclusive growth. It must not be one time we go quite up in terms of growth and another time we go below very much in terms of growth.